So production year for CRI, um, we will plant uh, plant that after soybean harvest. That so ideally, you know, we'd like to plant it in September, early October, get good growth on that. Our oat rotation looks pretty similar, um, except we just leave it bare in the fall, come back in. Um, last couple years we've actually seeded our clover first and then a couple weeks later we'll get in and seed our oats. This clover was frost seeded in oh, end of March, end of March um, on ground and then uh, oats were planted in here shortly after. a week after. or two later, yeah. Uh, it was frost seeded at about five to six pounds an acre. Um, still trying to tweak that and um, figure out the the best seeding right there, I guess. Um, we're also planting uh, clover into the cereal rye. Have had, haven't had the best luck best success, yeah. there, but definitely obviously took off in the oat crop. And I think it's something we'll continue to do in oats. So in partnership with PFI, we're doing trial work, I guess, on, uh, on some of those nitrogen rates um, and reducing nitrogen in the the corn crop following this so continuing to learn um, that's the fun part of it i guess just in general reducing nitrogen um, it's one of the largest expenses in growing corn behind land and the seed cost um, and it's one of those things that we can do a lot better job on fairly easily just by managing when we put it down and using even just a, like a cereal rye cover crop just to hold what's there in place until we need it when it breaks down and releases it. Um, something like this that's actually putting nitrogen into the soil is it, it's fixing it cheaper than we can buy it. Um, you know it's just pulling it out of the atmosphere and, and making it available for us. And then in general cover crops increasing organic matter in the soil is, gonna, is going to increase mineralization of nitrogen just the natural way it is available instead of buying it um, and, and applying it. So just another way to cut back on something that we can't control the cost of. That on a year like this where nitrogen costs have gone through the roof and it's another one of those supply things. We're unsure how much we're actually going to be able to get and what the price of it's going to be. The fact that we can use 50, 60, 70 pounds less than, than other people and raise just as good of a crop is, is just money in our pocket.